Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Multiplayer Stellaris, featuring myself, Arthanex, as well as my co-host, Lord Malvern. Hey there. I'm going to go ahead and unpause. Things are getting interesting in the galaxy. The extragalactic invaders have arrived right next to Lord Malvern. So uh, tell us, how does it feel to be in the crosshairs? Uh, okay, I guess. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I've... I've had to I've had experience dealing with uh, the Praetorian Scourge. They aren't really that uh, that difficult to deal with. The main the main thing that I don't like about them is that they turn every world that they touch into barren wastelands that are un un unrecoverable, which uh, uh, fleet engaged. is really quite a shame. But um, because there were some really good worlds over in the spot that they chose to colonize. Hmm. I wonder if they didn't show up near me because there's no, like, convenient open swath of territory that they could occupy. That could be. Everything's, everything's spoken for. Right. Yeah, but that was... Oh, they, they just, like, uh, popped right into, like, a demilitarized zone, essentially. Right. Uh, between... The Fallen Empire and the and the Jurin. And sort of myself, too, although I had established a frontier outpost in there. See, so, yeah, things look bad now, but I think... I think we will be able to uh, destroy them. any luck. They did destroy one of my wormhole stations, though, I should mention that. Uh, so right now I do have a fleet that's kind of stranded out here. And they are... They are making their way up to uh, the Jurin capital, so that would be interesting if they... Uh, the Durin are now in a pretty weakened state, so, mm -hmm. um, since I destroyed their entire fleet, so. So they won't be able to defend themselves against the Uncalming Scourge, really. Which could be a problem for them. Right. It's great for me, though. Okay. Do they leave any? Wow, I don't think they left any troops behind on these planets that they occupied. That's pretty good, actually. I can just swoop in and take them without having to worry about fortifications or anything like that. That's 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 a great gift they gave me. Instant war score reversal. Equip Xeno Calvary on all these guys. Alright. Eh, one of my governors just gained Iron Fist. That's very nice. I'm gonna leave her this time. Wait for them to land. Xenomorphs when I'm done with this.
No, no, no. There's no escape for you. Slowly clearing out their war nations and capturing their plants. Hostile fleet engaged. It's really a question of time at this point. Hostile fleet engaged. You have it. Fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Continue building xenomorphs. The country needs you. Alien abominations. You horrors of science. So let's move to this planet. Situation log updated. Alright, let's go ahead and get our Wampole station built here.
Where is this? Ooh, there we are. There. Divi Jevin. Oh, well, you're not happy about uh, being occupied, I'm sure. Still no reason for me to pay the price for it. Alright, I thought we were getting close to ending this war a while ago, but... We've been a little bit more stubborn. Isn't that how things are? Hoped. Still... Yeah, the AI, I've noticed, uh, always feels like they're kind of one step ahead of you, even if, um, well, at least in my experience, they feel, it feels like they are, well, I mean, they, they know where, you, that, uh, that you're heading their direction, of course, because they, they cheat, but. Okay, so Vocon is where I needed to reestablish myself. Right. Everyone head over to Vocon. Fortification should be down by the time you get there. Now who died? The oh, scientist who was actually on my science ship died. Ooh. Ooh. Both of those guys. All right, I am. Able to return back to my space with this fleet. Very good. Star charts for God damn it, how many times do I have to tell you? It's nothing for you here. Interesting, getting the first seventy five percent war score doesn't seem to be a problem. It's the last fifteen percent or 20%, that's the problem. Every single time. It's like I can get the first 75 to 80% war score in the first, like, 10 days of the war, almost. Yeah. But getting that last 20% takes years. That's usually why I keep my... I, try, I don't usually uh, go for a 100% war score. Each time is because it is... It can be pretty tif difficult to to do that. Enemy troops landing. Enemy planet secure. Planet lost to invasion. Yeah. That's how they'll spin it, I'm sure. Planet lost to invasion. Yeah, right. Well, it looks like the, the Fallen Empire has beaten back... Uh, beaten back the Praetorian Scourge, but they've taken quite a bit of, uh... losses to their fleet. They are now equiv uh, they are now superior to us. Uh, rather than just overwhelming. 
I don't have contact with them. I'd be curious to see how I compare to them now. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't have contact with them, so I can't. You have a colony and a frontier outpost. In it seems a little redundant. guy off somewhere else. Be more useful elsewhere. Outpost set up by RTTL smugglers, elements, raid smuggler base. score to make demands. Alright, I get you. We shall see. surrendered. Uh, I gotta pause for a second. Okay. That's another one of those all robot population worlds. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotta get rid of them. Leader of the All Republic right. of Nugan at the moment looks like he's uh, he's got a little parasitic infection there. Who? The leader of the Republic of Nugan. Republic of Nugan. They're right by um, the oh. Ikarzuri. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's those. Uh, it's the it's the fungoids. Oh no, they're reptilians. Yeah, there seems to be some sort of bug where um, where it shows <laughs> it sh if if the leader is from the species that's not the the founding species, they they're still shown as the founding species. 
portrait, even though they well, are. What do you see? What do you see when you look at me? Because my leader is not species. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah, I see some some reptilian guy, but that's it says that he's arterial and avian. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah, he's uh, he's a meta Zin. He's from the Zin Empire, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, one of my Zin conquered planets. Yeah. But he he had. I mean, what can I say? He had home in the sky and uh, bullshit focus. So. All right, I'm good. Um, I'm gonna unpause again. Okay. Right. I did manage to clear out a lot of their ones during that one. I never looked at this planet to see if. Hostile fleet engaged. I think once right. I've, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I think once I've taken back all of their ter all of uh, all of my territory that's being occupied, I think I'm going to go ahead and invade the rest of the Bruggen state. That would probably be um, a good way of getting more war score, I imagine. And uh, then maybe I will invade the the Julians as well and. You know, it's, it's interesting. As the Prothean Scourge eliminate planets, they're reducing the number of planets you need to win the game. Oh, that's it used true. to be at it used to be 190. Now it's down to 187. Oh yeah, you're right. Because they have made uh, three planets barren. Probably more than three. Probably more like nine, nine or ten. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting that it would reduce it by three, then. Well, it's 40%, right? You need 40% of the habitable, so... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm being silly.
Enemy troops landing. Enemy planet secured. Planet lost to invasion. <laughs> Time to All right, take in. Incoming transmission. Oh, what do you want? You that when that happened? You were over here. Let's end this war before it gets out of hand. No, I think you've uh, let it get far enough out of hand. Not leaving until I get everything. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Incoming transmission. Transmission. Situation log updated. Transmission. Here it is. Okay, there was one other place I was supposed to be making stuff. Incoming transmission. It's not making stuff right now. Oh, you are making stuff. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. I know of a planet that has Trans Elden. Oh, that's the wrong one. Scientists died again. Mm, carefree, maybe be a good one. What's your technology level? No, that's not. Hostile fleet engaged. So superior. Okay. Oh, new overseer, huh? Sure. Let's grab you. I'm perfectly fine with this one. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. So that's good, even if I actually put it on my ships, because they come with some. Uh, War still going on, huh? It is, yes. Now oh, they're willing to give me two planets now.
situation log updated. We shall see. I'm... I'm about to, uh... There we go. Situation log updated. Got to blockade one of their other planets now. And if I blockade this one, maybe... Up there, willing to let me take everything. Very good. All right, just give me one second here. Finish. All right. Queuing up a bunch of upgrade orders on these planets. Uh, can you do that while paused? Oh yes, I can. Okay. There you Thank go. You. All right. Time to district five. Timing actually. I need to queue up a bunch of orders for this thing. Oh, here we go. That war went off to was off to a rocky start at first, but uh, we were able to get everything we wanted for the most part by the end of it. I actually kind of want to throw my fleet back to invaders to see how it does, but I can't reach them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, not unless I get not unless I get military access and looking at my uh, relations. Somehow I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The friendliest, the friendliest a AI empire is minus 360. And that's the friendliest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, surprisingly, the, the AI does not take well to people who uh, uh, invade first and ally later. <laughs> or never, or in never. my case. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Was this you or me? I think it was you. Yes, it was. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the series. If you are liking the video and checking out the alternate perspectives, either way, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a terrific day. Take care.